This uh, handy little mandolin is uh, retails for under uh, under five hundred dollars. I believe uh, they go for around two hundred to twenty five, depending on who carries them. Um, this is uh, made by a company called Hora H O R A. I believe they're in Romania or Portugal. I've heard either. Um, <clears throat> this uh, instrument is um, quite pretty, but um, has a, a lot of limitations. Um, it's a flat top, it's not carved, but the back is, um, I believe, steam uh, uh, form, meaning they took a form and they uh, bent it using steam. So it's not carved, but it gives the illusion of being carved. It has a, a nice little arch there. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, it has a very uh, thin uh, nickel tailpiece that it's just, I don't like it at all. Um, it has a plastic end pin. Um, the neck is not adjustable, so if it warps or uh, need, the neck needs to be adjusted, your luthier is gonna have to um, uh, take it, take the neck off and, uh, and re-glue it, and that can be very expensive. Um, I don't like the tuners. These are like, classical guitar tuner style tuners um, they just they're just mediocre they don't hold um, a tune they don't hold the um, instrument in tune for very long and um, I'm constantly uh, you know tightening and loosening the screws on the side with a Phillips head screwdriver just to get the instrument in tune um, I don't like these bridges these are mandolin um, these are banjo bridges, not mandolin. And um, what tends to happen, I've noticed because they're so long, is that they bear down on the top, causing the top to warp. This is a practically brand new instrument. And I don't know if you can see that warping starting to happen um, with this bridge. The problem is that you, you really can't put a standard bridge on this mandolin because the um, fretboard is so low and it's glued to the top of the instrument. So you're gonna have neck problems and action problems right away. Playing up in third and fourth position on this mandolin is gonna be very awkward. Um, you're gonna be out of tune all the time. You can retune the instrument so that you can play in the higher positions, but then you can't play in first position. So, you know, you get what you pay for. Uh, this instrument is, um, I don't recommend it to any new students. Um, and frankly, you know, you, if you get, if you ha own one of these, you might as well put it on the wall with some plant, some flowers sticking out of it, because it's really not an instrument that you want to uh, play uh, in front of people. Anyway, if you have any questions, uh, you can reach me at the uh, links below or you can post a comment um, and I'll see that and respond to it. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that you're notified when I upload a new video.